Good morning internet. Right, so it's Sunday the 10th of September. You can always rely on the automatic visor. And it is, what time is it? It is nearly nine o'clock. The temperature, according to the trusty Himalayan, is 22 degrees. So, about 19. So I wanted to get out early -ish because obviously it's going to be hot today and I thought, you know, get out and not burn to death. So that's, that's the idea. Right, so welcome back to the channel. I forgot to say that, I always do. I hope everyone's feeling good. Uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a longish day probably knocking on five six hours I want to try and cover as much as I can uh, this morning while it's cool that's the that, that's the whole idea uh, so yeah now obviously it's a long way and I'm not going to record all the journey up there because well it would just be a bit silly really wouldn't it you'd be bored and I'd run out of things to say which I know that that's not normally the case uh, but on a journey this far, I think I would. Right, it's going to be interesting to see how the Himalayan performs because, you know, it's never I've never took it on a trip like this before. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to all this. Uh, let's just hope it's a pleasant journey, eh? And uh, looking forward to meet up with, uh, with Pete, one of the subscribers, on Wednesday. Hopefully the weather will be nice. Uh, so everything, everything so far, it's a good start. It's nice and fresh this morning, which is nice. I'm under no illusion that give it probably three hours time, I'm gonna be saying, oh my God, it's hot. But you know, there you go. Right, okay. So I will see you later. Hello and welcome back, hey, eh? just, uh, just a quick, just a quick little update so that down there that's the uh, I do believe that that's part of the Brest to Nant Canal not 100% sure but yeah I think it is so it's 5 to 10 we're just coming up well we've just done 76 kilometers I managed to get away for about 10 to 9 so yeah pretty good now this whole trip this whole trip, I'm going to be doing this on the uh, on the trip. I look, yeah, got it on on the phone, the Royal Enfield navigation, and then following the tripper down there. So hopefully it'll do me good. It's never let me down. Uh, I'm in okay. I haven't used it loads of times, but you know, at the same time, hopefully it will be okay. Uh, so yeah, I mean, things are going well, temperature is a nice, well it, according to the old Himalayan it's 27, so we're looking about what, 24, uh, averaging speeds 100 kilometres an hour, 60 miles per hour, just running at say 4,500 revs, so yeah, you know the bike's running nice, it's a nice condition to ride in. So all in all, hopefully, everything will be okay. I will catch you again later. Well, we're sort of hitting some, uh, some bad weather at the moment. I haven't actually had to stop, but we're certainly, it's certainly been throwing it down here, we're in Normandy look, here we go welcome to Normandy unfortunately welcome to the rain by the look of it uh, I'm sort of thinking that I might be heading into the rain so I think these cameras are going to come off most definitely and probably stop to put the wet gear on as well 
because this rain is just not going to stop so I need to find somewhere to stop and I'm going to switch off right now Good evening internet Right, Sunday evening I finally arrived yes um, OK A few things to tell you First of all, let me just show you around my my little house that's uh, going to be but a bit, hang on I've got to walk around here with the mic Should be clicked on me There you go Right, this is my little cocoa sweet, eh? Yeah. Just cosy, eh? Yeah. Or my Kia. <laughs> I'm a man, remember. Actually, for being a man, I suppose that's 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 pretty neat, really. Yeah. And the old uh, the, the old double boudoir. Okay. And then you get yourself a little porch, which at the moment is a laundry room. See? There you go. <laughs> yeah. Trying to dry everything out, yeah. This is the site, very nice, nice and quiet. Can't show you all because I've only just got here. Well, not only just, but I'm going to take it a little bit easier after my horrendous journey. <laughs> okay, right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there like that, and then I'm going to sit down for a minute. So, basically. So I left my house and uh, yeah, the weather was really good and I was making excellent time. Um, I got roughly about an hour and three quarters to do and um, yeah, things were going really well. Bike was running excellent, everything was going great. The tripper was doing its job. I was really impressed. And then all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, it absolutely, the sky went by. And he absolutely hammered it down. And I had that for like what? Well, the last two and a half hours when I arrived there, it was still raining. Uh, the trouble is that when you use the tripper, which is a great bit of kit, I mean, it got me all the way down here. But of course, it works off your phone, doesn't it? Now, the idea is that if it's raining and what have you, you can stick your phone. I took it out, out the older. Um, and I put the phone um, in the front bags and everything was going unky dory then all of a sudden it lost the connection the bluetooth lost the connection um, now i don't know if it was the weather or because it wasn't right next to it Modric it shouldn't be next, next to it only bluetooth bluetooth so then i had to stop now you know <laughs> you, you're trying to stop you're trying to put your destination back in it's absolutely hammering it down i mean at the end of the day you know it's a bike in it that's that's what we do oh, <laughs> I haven't been touring for a few years, really, you know, uh, and I certainly don't go out if it's raining. So this for me was an experience. All the rain gear, I mean, okay, you know, I got some decent kit. Um, it kept me dry, I'm drying it all out. My boots, I mean, I don't care what boots you have. They're pretty wet. So they've uh, they've all got to dry out. Um, but yeah, uh, it's all right. But I mean, all in all, I'm here. The bike, absolutely filthy dirty. Um, so I, I went over to the shower block with a bucket out of here and I've just got the worst off because I really hate dirty bikes. Now the lady in the reception, she assures me that for the rest of the week it's going to be good. Right? I mean, it, it's nice at the moment. It, you know, the temperature's up. Um, I've got my shorts on. Everything's great. The original plan, because I was hoping to get here for about two o'clock, and then, you know, I was just going to unpack and then go back out and do a bit tonight. But you know what? By the time I've, well, I've got to get all this dry. Um, so tonight's a bit of a no-no. So chill out. Take it easy. Uh, so tomorrow. Uh, let's start tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow there won't be any rain. And hopefully I can get out there, get it sorted out uh, and do what I came here to do. And that's, you know, go around, get into the nice videos without the rain okay look i'm going to sign off now uh like i said got to get some grub sorted um got to keep drying this this lot out <laughs> all right listen i'll catch you tomorrow in the morning over the coffee out there see how we all are hopefully brilliant sunshine take it easy look after yourselves don't forget if it's the first time you've dropped in hit that subscribe button now that would be really good it's really helpful 
even if you don't want to watch me again you look at me and you think you know what that guy talks a load of rubbish <laughs> that's okay <laughs> just subscribe i'll see you soon catch you in, in the next one which will be tomorrow take care bye for now